There's no doubt that PowerBook 2 have filmed many scenes and many scenes that didn't make it into the episodes, but there was a teaser on Instagram that looked like a deleted scene between Diana and Tariq. So welcome back to MovieBot, let's talk about that deleted scene between Tariq and Diana. How about how we trade? You tell me a secret then, maybe I'll tell you a secret. I could tell you, or I could show you. So I hope you're all having a great week and I just wanted to talk about something and I actually had another video planned for today which was on 2bit until this was sent to me on Instagram by different Vonta. So thanks for sending this over and it looks like a deleted scene between Diana and Tariq from one of the last five episodes because I don't think they would have put a scene in that's coming up in the next couple of episodes because they haven't even released teasers for episode 6 either so it's definitely a deleted scene and just a quick one it was sent to me on Instagram and for those who want to follow me on Instagram my Instagram is ig.moviebot and I'm going to be posting regular on Instagram now as well. Before I post a video, I'll probably let you guys know what I'm posting and when. I'll do Q&As on Instagram and just generally post updates on power and things. And if you guys want to send me a DM and talk power, I'll happily reply like I always do. You know, I try and keep you guys interacted with my videos as much as possible. So yeah, drop me a follow on Instagram if you want. It's ig.moviebot. But with that being said, let's talk about this deleted scene and it was sent to me by different Vonta and it just looks like a normal clip of a few highlights over the first couple of episodes with Ghost Star saying rewatch these first five episodes until you get to the part with Tariq and Diana and Diana says to Tariq and it's just a short clip by the way she just says I thought you were so different and the theme of this video was Lauren, Diana and Tariq they're basically showing us the love triangle between the three and I've touched on this love triangle in this video so I'll leave the link to this down below in the description and in the comment section but they were showing us this love triangle between these two in this clip where Diana said I thought you were so different when it was first sent to me, my first thoughts were, we've definitely not seen this scene before. So it's either a deleted scene or it's a scene that's coming up and my bet is, it's more likely to be a deleted scene or some footage that they've recorded and they haven't released and it might have just been an error on their part, whoever put this short clip together on Instagram. So personally, I think it's a deleted scene, but what made me think of was the moment between Dinah, Lauren and Tariq at his party at Stansfield. So let's rewind it back to episode 5 when Dinah was sent to Stansfield by Monet to get information from Tariq because she sent Drew and he came back with nothing. So this time she sent Diana and while Diana and Tariq were talking, Brayden came running over to Tariq and told him that Lauren's just entered and when Tariq introduced Diana to Lauren, it was awkward and at this moment in time, Tariq knew what game he was playing. He said to Lauren, can I talk to you in private, put his arm around Lauren while he walked off just leaving Diana there. So I think this scene could have been a deleted scene from the aftermath of that moment of Tariq just leaving Diana at the party to go with Lauren because no doubt Diana has feelings for Tariq and her heart would have dropped in that moment. So Diana would have gone up to Tariq and said, I thought you were so different. So I definitely think it's a deleted scene or they could use it later on, you never know. But to me, it definitely looks like a deleted scene that was put in there in that clip on Instagram just by mistake. And well, we don't know much about what happened after between Tariq and Diana, either apart from when Diana was chilling outside on the steps on a road. And this is where she took Tariq's gun and we saw her giving it to Monet later on in the episode. But apart from this, we never saw another exchange from Diana or Tariq. But let's not forget about their exchange earlier on in Tariq's room when she went to go drop more product off to Tariq. Because she thinks I might do something like this. That's what you came up here for? So Tariq hasn't just got busy with Lauren, he's got busy with Dinah as well. And this clip on Instagram also teased every king needs a queen. And well, we know who the king is in this case and that's Tariq. So who's his queen? Because on one hand, Tariq has Lauren. And on the other hand, Tariq has Diana, and there's no doubt that both of them like Tariq and Tariq likes both of them. But who's the right one for him and who's going to be his queen? Well, the thing is, I don't think either of them are going to be his queen because a few days ago, I broke down another character who I think is going to be playing a major role at the back end of this season and especially in season 2 and that's Effie. Power seem to be teasing us and going with the love triangle is between Diana and Lauren and we've been talking over the past couple of weeks who's the right one for Tariq. We've been talking whether it's Diana or Lauren. Many of you have said Diana is Tariq's Tasha and Lauren is his version of Angela but I genuinely think Tariq's queen could actually be Effie. Tariq went to Yale where Effie was studying and I think at the back end of the season, the way they could actually bring Effie back into the fold is with her transferring to Stansfield and that's how she can be a main part of the storyline for season 2 and be a more of a regular character on the series by transferring to Stansfield and that will not only bring her closer to Tariq, it will also bring her back into the fold within his love life. And this program that's on offer from Tariq and Lauren's canonical studies course will send someone to Washington. I don't think personally it's going to be Tariq, I think it's going to be Lauren who's just going to be Tariq to this program 
and that's how Lauren could be out of the picture for him and this is where Effie comes into the love triangle with the love triangle actually being between Tariq, Effie and Diana not Lauren and I don't think the season will end either with Lauren or Diana's death I think with Effie returning I think there needs to be space made on the show with at least Diana or Lauren leaving and I don't think Diana will die so I definitely see Lauren winning this Washington program and another reason I see her winning this is because I don't see Tariq just picking up and leaving so soon after he started at Stansfield because he's just got too much business to attend to. He needs to sell for Monet, he needs to make money to pay for Davis McLean because he still owes him what 400-450k and he can't do that while he's out in Washington and he actually needs to be home. He needs to look after his grandma and Yaz and needs to be there for Tasha as well. I guess Brayden could handle the business while he's gone and it would be actually good to see Brayden run things if Tariq was actually to go to Washington because then we'll know how much Brayden has learned from Tariq about the game and whether he can step up. But I think he just needs to be home for these reasons I just spoke about. But hey, who knows, it's the world of power. And they do like to spring us some surprises and you can never say never in the world of power. And correct me if I'm wrong, Courtney Kemp did tease that Tariq is going to be having trouble with the women that are going to be entering his life. And this is one part of his life that I think he's going to be having trouble with. Especially if Effie does turn up at the back end of the season and is more of a regular in season 2. She's definitely not going to be making it any easier for Tariq. And Tariq is going to have to have his guard up with Effie, especially with her stabbing him in his back in season 6 of Power at Chote, so he's definitely going to be keeping a close eye on her, but ultimately this saying that they had on the initial teaser, every king needs a queen, I feel Effie is this queen that could be the one for Tariq, and what a dangerous power couple they could well end up being if this was the case, both book smart and both know the game, but it's the reason why they could clash as well, I think Tariq and Effie would be such a dangerous power combination, and I think together, they could do some real damage. But with Effie, it all comes down to trust, can Tariq trust Effie, that's the question. But one thing Tariq is sure of, he can't trust Lauren. I mean, considering he was drugged up, drunk, whatever you want to call it, Lauren just left him there in Brayden's brother's room. So if Lauren really did care about Tariq, would she have not just stayed there and looked after him? So I definitely think there could be an ulterior motive with Lauren. So Tariq can't trust Effie, and he can't trust Lauren either. So let's just see how he plays this one. And just a quick one, in my previous video I brought this up and I never spoke about it but it was an actual point raised by Bob Bob in one of my previous videos where he said that Lauren's mum was in episode 3 of the original Power series and Lauren's mum was actually in the jewellery store at the time it was robbed by Kanan and Jukebox's crew. So that's just a little easter egg for those who missed my video on Effie's connections. But let me know what you guys think about this scene between Tariq and Diana that seems to be like a deleted scene. It seems like Diana was pretty pissed at Tariq telling him that she thought he was different or do you think they could be using it later on in the season? Let me know what your thoughts are on Tariq's love triangle as well. A king needs his queen. So is his queen Diana, Lauren or Effie? Let me know your thoughts down below and if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.